breaking, look what happened to 6 Celeb 3 HRS after everyone saw her pretend to behead Trump. In what seemed like a disgusting and desperate attempt to resuscitate her fleeting career, liberal comedian Kathy Griffin thought it would be funny to pretend to behead our president. Now she's not only the enemy of everyone but three hours after her bloody picture hit the internet, she received a horrifying surprise she wasn't expecting and now she's not the one who's laughing. Kathy's photo shoot seemed to be her way of making a statement that the president is public enemy number one but she learned just how wrong she is when even people in her own political party disagreed with her gruesome humor. However, the backlash became far more than she expected from her public statement and now there's no going back after what she just opened the door to. Evidently, Kathy's former act of attacking President Trump's youngest son, Barron, wasn't funny or enough, so she decided to step up her game and go fully offensive on a horrific level. She already lost a lot of credibility by trying to cash in on slandering an 11-year-old but posing with a blood-drenched replica of Trump's head and holding it by his infamous hair was perhaps the worst thing she could do for herself in her career. No matter how entitled you think you are, you can't and won't stop the secret sunrise from protecting the president's life. If her point was to get attention, Kathy sure got it but was not the kind she was expecting. She should have learned from all anti-Trump celebrities and companies who experienced financially devastating reactions to their reputation, brand, and everything they hold dear. Add Kathy to the list of those losers who just got a response to her sick picture from her worst nightmare. Kathy's post shot circulated fast on social media, as she expected, along with the outcome she feared and saying that she may have to flee to Mexico for concern that she and the photographer would get thrown into prison. The Secret Service just allegedly showed up on Twitter with a response which purportedly said, threats made against at Secret Service protectees receive the highest priority of all of our investigations. Another message followed, on it. At Secret Service has a robust protective intelligence division that monitors open source reporting and social media to evaluate threats, according to Breaking 911. This isn't about the First Amendment and being free to say what you want to say. It's about showing respect for our president and setting an example to others with your celebrity status. Griffin committed a crime in the name of a joke which clearly isn't funny and shouldn't be accepted as such. She abused her public platform in a grotesque way that wouldn't have been acceptable if said by a conservative about Barack Obama. The backlash flooded in by even the most unlikely people who typically support anything anti-Trump like former first daughter Hillary Clinton who expressed her complete disagreement for Griffin's statement in surprising defense of Trump. This is vile and wrong. It is never funny to joke about killing a president, Chelsea tweeted soon after the picture of Griffin went viral. Chelsea wasn't the only political public figure who had something to say about it. Donald J. Trump spoke for all of us today with his immediate response that proved the problem is deeper than the picture. Disgusting but not surprising. This is the left today. They consider this acceptable, he said on the same social media forum that the photo originally appeared on today, TMZ reported. Perhaps what's more alarming than this photo is that it's practically become acceptable to do this, especially by public people who think there shouldn't or won't be consequences. The rules of decency and respect for our president on the most basic level shouldn't change with the each new election. This seems to only be the case when there is a conservative in office that the left doesn't like. That alone speaks volumes about the mentality of each party. Republicans dealt with Barack Obama for two terms and never once in that time did antics as grotesque as this surface. If it had, an arrest would have been swift and without hesitation, as it should be for Griffin. It's time to put an end to this madness of accepting assassination acts by any liberal with an audience. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up, and thanks for watching.